Are you looking for a really healthy and fresh way to cook fish? How about cooking it in papillote? Today I'm making halibut en papillote with Napa cabbage, ginger, and carrot. Once you've assembled your packets, it's really fast from oven to table in about 15 minutes, maybe even less. Start by julienning your ginger or grating it. You'll need about a tablespoon total. To julienne ginger, peel it and then slice it into very thin rounds and then slice the rounds into little strips. I'm getting everything ready to assemble my packet, so I'm gonna prep everything ahead. I have a carrot here. The carrot's gonna be peeled into strips using a vegetable peeler. Just a plain old vegetable peeler, and you can peel it into nice long strips. This way, the carrot cooks nice and quickly in the oven with the fish, but you can also cut your carrot the same way that you cut the ginger into julienne. This is a pretty big carrot, so I don't feel like I need all of it. I'll just set the rest aside for later, maybe snacks. Carrot can go in a little bowl. And then the last ingredient to prep is half of a head of Napa cabbage. You only need a half a head of cabbage for this recipe. You can saute the rest or make it into a small amount of slaw if you want. Remove the core. And then just slice it across. When you're cooking things in papillote, you want to choose things that cook at about the same amount of time. Quick cooking vegetables or very small pieces work best. Ready to assemble? Have four sheets of parchment paper that are about, usually about 16 inches long works well. Take your parchment and put a quarter of your cabbage on the bottom to make a base, and then a quarter of your carrot. Then place a piece of fish on top. I have Chilean sea bass, you could use halibut, any firm white fish will do, and in fact salmon's also really good, about an inch thick. And then some of the ginger, a little bit, a quarter. And I have a half a cup of cilantro leaves, so a quarter of that, a couple tablespoons. A little bit of rice wine vinegar. If you don't have rice wine vinegar, you can use white wine vinegar if you want to, or even lemon juice would work, or lime juice, about a teaspoon. One to two teaspoons of sesame oil per packet, depending on how much sesame you like. It's a pretty strong flavor, but super delicious. I personally love it. And then season with salt. Wrap them up. You want to Tightly enclose your fish and all your vegetables inside of your packet, all the steam, that's what cooks the vegetables and the fish. So lift the ends of the parchment up over your fish and then crease it once or twice as much as you have room for to really seal it. And then the ends need to be sealed too, so fold those in and then underneath. And there's your packet, it needs to be nice and tight so all the steam stays in, that's what cooks. Bake these for 13 to 15 minutes. The paper should be puffed and the fish should be opaque. You'll have to open up the packet to check if you want to find out for sure if your fish is cooked, but try to only do that once. They smell really good, they're puffed. They're turning a little brown on the outside. I feel like they're done. I'm just gonna take it on faith that they are because I didn't even open them and check. Transfer the packets to the plate and then bring them to the table and let people open them up themselves because when they open it up, the steam is so aromatic and fragrant. It's really, really worth doing at the table. I don't know if you can see the steam wafting up to me, but it smells so aromatic and fantastic. It's quick, it's fresh. It's healthy and it's really, really delicious. So I highly recommend that you give this recipe a try. Mm. Try it. I think you're going to like it. You will. Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click here if you want to subscribe and click over here if you want to continue watching more great videos like this.